Hello and welcome back. Uh, picking up where we left off last time, we had just changed the fuel filters um, for the engine. And as a reward for kind of doing that scary job, uh, we decided to take a trip out to the islands. And we went to Mesha, which is about 21 miles north of our home port of Anacortes. And we motored this distance. Uh, there wasn't really any wind. Um, and uh, we rolled past uh, Clark Island here, which is where Jenny and I got engaged a number of years ago. Uh, so it's always fun going past Clark Island there. And uh, then we got a dock spot in Mesha, and that's where we pick up uh, from here. So I wish I had more footage from Mesha uh, because that place was really awesome. Um, unfortunately, I'm an idiot and deleted all this GoPro uh, footage that we had from uh, diving. We went swimming there and snorkeling around, um, but I totally lost those. So that, my apologies. Uh, but anyways, um, we from Mesha we spent a night there, and then we made a quick little trip over to. Snoring Cove on Susha, um, just as some weather was blowing in. So this, you'll see what I'm what I mean here. These guys are flying low. Blowing real hard here in Susha. And everything down. Good sailor. Whew. So we survived the night, but our mooring line just barely did. Um, we saw this going on, so we had another mooring line on the morning ball so it was all good uh but it was just kind of a a good cheap lesson uh and and just being very observant and and just knowing what's going on at all times it's blowing we rode the tail end of that storm back to anacortes and had some really good sailing So the last boat project we needed to do before we could set sail north was to upgrade our anchor chain. The one on the boat currently just didn't look all that great and we didn't know how much we could trust it. So we decided to upgrade. How's it look? It looks really nice. <laughs> Ooh, nice new chain. That's pretty. Brand new anchor chain, marking off 50 foot segments. So at this point we had our anchor chain, new anchor chain all prepped and ready to go. We needed to turn our attention to the, the boat's existing uh, setup. And you can just see that this does not inspire confidence whatsoever. So we are going to totally replace this chain and then this rope we are going to reuse, but we're going to cut it below this. And Jenny is the boat's like rope master, so she uh, will splice, make a new splice and new thimble and everything. And just to give you an idea of what that looks like on the boat, this is this is it. It's a mess. <laughs> Project day here. But you gotta stop and eat lunch. Mm -hmm. So it just bent. Yeah, I just tried turning that. And you bent it? Yep. Wow, look how old and rusty it is. Yeah, it's, it is horrible. 
now we get the uh, the grind drop. And the end result from all those efforts was this. Um, you can just see that uh, Jenny did an awesome job uh, splice, making a whole new splice, new th thimble. And uh, you can see that new shackle with the new chain there. It just looks really nice. And that is that inspires confidence. And that will definitely sponsor a uh, good night's rest. So we feel great about this setup. So even though... Uh, the setup looked really good. We just wanted to double check just to make sure, you know, give it a good test. Okay, that's about taut. We'll give it a little rev. I think we're good. And with that test being a success, it was time to go test it out. Here's our new anchor setup in action. Love seeing that. Holding strong. So this is like a half mile from the marina, but it felt really special uh, dropping the anchor for the first time because we had never done that uh, without an instructor or anything. So it's kind of like we were earning our badges or something like that. So the anchor chain project was the last thing we needed to do before we could travel up north to Canada. Um, however, we thought it would be a good idea just to do one more shakedown cruise, um, you know, where we tested out the anchor and kind of worked out the bugs before we uh, traveled north. So um, we set out and explored, um, this is Lopez Island, um, and we went to Watmo Bay, which is a really pretty neat spot because it's got these big cliffs there and you're parked right next to them. So really neat. And then we uh, traveled up through Thatcher Pass over to Shaw Island uh, in Blind Bay, which is pretty neat because there's a big uh, Washington State Ferry terminal right there. And, it, and Blind Bay was really nice and uh, it's a nice protected bay for one and it, it gave us a ton of real estate to work with. So it was really nice to practice anchoring there. Really served us well. Um, so yeah, the following videos are from from that last shakedown cruise and after this one we're going to be ready to go and tackle canada does it for this episode thank you so much for tuning in totally appreciate that uh join us next time as we start our big canadian adventure we set sail to foreign waters so uh thank you again and see you soon cheers